what is going on guys fmu here and this is just a quick tutorial showing you how to get better audio from your microphone now i'm not saying my audio is the best audio in the world by any stretch of the imagination but if you go back a couple of years to before i got this blue snowball microphone that i'm using now my audio is freaking terrible and uh, when i got the blue snowball it improved a massive amount but still there was a bit of noise and stuff that i didn't like so i used audacity to sort of remove the noise but the trouble with that is you don't get a consistent sound because every recording sounds different and uh, you can never really i mean you can do like save presets and stuff but you can't really to me anyway you can't always get the exact same sort of sound so i had a little look on the internet and found some fantastic free to use free to download software and i'm going to show you today how to install it first of all there's two links down below in the description and the first one is for the vv audio cable software virtual audio cable applications okay so what you need to do is, is just scroll down and hit download okay and that will begin the download process for you and then you will get a zip file so you obviously need a, a file you know a software package that will unzip uh, the files for you so WinRAR, jzip and all uh, you know and all those other uh, sort of you know softwares that you get and what you need to do is you need to extract it and we're just going to go to the desktop we're just going to extract it on the desktop okay so extract and for some reason it's <laughs> i don't know why it's done that to me but what a jerk then you need to figure out whether your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit and uh following on from that you then need to select the right option so as you can see there's two here exactly look exactly the same one of them though you can see there at the very top it says vbs cable underscore setup that's for the 32-bit pc and uh, the one underneath is for the 64-bit which i have so i need to right click on that and then hit run as administrator and hit yes and it will bring it up here now i've already got it installed so i don't want to click remove driver obviously you just need to click install and it will go through the install process Okay, so that's that installed, so we can get rid of that out of the way. Yes, go away. Now, we have the voice meter. So to download that, you go, obviously, click on the second link, and it will bring you to here. And again, you just hit download there, and it will obviously download yet another zip file. You open up the zip file. This way, you don't have to extract it. You can just double-click on it. It will come up with this here saying that there's a security warning. Just ignore it. It is, honestly, it is fine. Just hit yes. And that will bring up this page now obviously i've already got it installed so i don't need to uh to reinstall it so i'm not going to hit remove obviously now okay once it's installed it brings you to here and this is your uh, audio board now when it when it starts with you everything will be on zero nothing will be in here this will be flashing and uh, there'll be nothing in there so you can copy these if you wish or you can have a play around maybe uh, use some audacity you can record for audacity i'll show you how to do that in a second and just have a little listen to it and go through and see what you think is best things you do need to definitely do is in the hardware input number one you have to select your microphone so here you can see i've got blue snowball microphone selected there um don't think it makes much difference if you have it on that one either to be fair but um you'll know because these won't work basically if it's the wrong selection so that's kind of a foolproof way uh, and hardware out on a1 you have to have uh the virtual a you know virtual audio cable selected and uh, that will mean that your blue snowball is being run through this piece of software and outgoing into any recording software via the audio cable with these settings added to it whatever you use here um, i do believe you can download preset settings from the internet um, you know i'm sure you can do I've, I've, i swear to god i've seen it somewhere uh, but if not you can just play around and what i'll do is i'll just move this over here and you'll see it kind of goes like a radio -y sound in a moment you can see my voice changing and changing and changing and then we can come back over this way and it changes some more and then back up here it will just change as we go around i think that was about right where it was uh so yeah you can have a little tinker with it play with some of the sounds and see if you can get a, a sound that you like uh but yeah the main basics of it these need to be on mute and these need to be on stereo repeat okay so those are the main ones and then the rest of it you just play around with and get the sound that you prefer 
so we were talking about audacity right now if you want to record for audacity or any program when you get to the point where you have to select your audio input device you need to go to the drop down list and select always voice meter output vb vo you know audio voice meter now this is very important okay whenever you want to record and you want it to be using the voice meter obvious this is kind of common sense but the voice meter has to be no two ways about it on otherwise you're going to be sat there talking away doing your recording and when you come back to listen to the audio there's going to be silence because it's not going to record anything so you need to make sure that's selected but for this i want to show you the difference so i'm just going to say this now hey there boys and girls welcome back i'm fmu okay so you heard that now we're going to record it on here just using the bog standard audio for the microphone hi guys welcome back i'm fmu okay so remember hi guys welcome back i'm fmu listen to the uh you'll, you'll notice the difference hi guys welcome back i'm fmu okay so hi guys welcome back i'm fmu and hi guys welcome back i'm fmu so what i mean you can tell the difference so that is the difference between the two and um to me it has really improved my audio tenfold it's been fantastic uh really really has improved it so hopefully guys uh and girls that has been helpful to you um i try you know i tried to make it as simple as possible there's nothing major to it it's just a case of downloading the software then playing around with it uh see if you want to see if you could download some um some preset settings that that's pretty awesome because what you can do is uh if you click on menu wherever you've downloaded some add load you know click load settings and then uh, just select the file and it will automatically update the settings for you so anyway thank you very much for watching guys hopefully that's been helpful like i say you will probably get your audio sounding far better than mine uh, if you do down below. Perhaps just, um, you know, drop a little comment on there with your audio settings and then people could try them out. That'd be pretty cool. And if you find any really cool um, sort of effects that you can do with the voice on there, maybe drop those in as well, the settings. People would really, really probably be really grateful. That'd be pretty awesome. But please hit a like if this has been helpful and... Uh, you know subscribe to my channel if you wish that would be fantastic i would really really appreciate it but for now guys it's been an absolute pleasure being in your face bye bye <laughs>